Konnichiwa, it's a cake from Japan. Here again with another guide video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to transfer files from your SD card and to your computer and from the computer to your SD card without even removing the SD card from your 2DS or original 3DS. If you wanna learn how to do this on your new 3DS, that's even easier than this guide. There's a link in the description uh, or at the end. So the th for 2DS and old 3DS, you're going to have to have homebrew running. So there's a couple different methods to do that. You can check out, you know, some of these. There's some in the description. We have guides on different ways to get from homebrew running. So load your homebrew. Okay, and now that we have the homebrew loaded up, uh, the next thing we have to do is go to the option called FT Brownie. Now, most homebrew packs will come with this already on it. If you don't have yours in here, then you're going to have to go ahead and download it and install it. So I'll put a link in the description, but you'll probably already have it on your system. So go ahead and select FT Brownie. And then it's going to boot up like this. And then on the top screen, you're going to have an IP address and port number. On the bottom screen, you got that cool picture. But we only need the top screen for now. So, as you can see, IP address is 192.168.2.107 port 5000. Uh, yours might be different, might be the same, I don't know for sure. Uh, the next thing we have to do is you have to have a program, an FTP program. I'm going to use FileZilla for this guide. So, if you want to download FileZilla, there's a download link in the description. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy and safe and you just download it and install it like you would with any other program and the next step is to take the information from your top screen here this IP address and port number and you need to enter it into FileZilla so for host that's where you type in the IP address so it's 192.168.2.107 username leave blank password leave blank and then port put the 5000 in there and then go ahead and click the quick connect button you just might say connect but quick connect and then just as easy as that now all of a sudden I can see the files in my SD card and I can navigate around uh, and see all the files I have like all the save manager here's FT Brony um, if you want to install new programs into homebrew you put them in the 3DS folder um, your Pokemon backups from Save Manager go in this file, Save Data Backup. Yeah, so you can just drag right in and out of uh, folders on your computer straight out of this program, and you can do it both ways. And then when you're done, um, and you're ready to quit, just go back to your DS and, select, and press B, and then B again, and it's going to exit. And then on your computer, it's going to say the connection was closed in FileZilla, and you can just close FileZilla out. And that's how to transfer files back and forth uh, from your SD card to your computer on a 3DS, original 3DS and 2DS. New 3DS, link in the description. It's even easier. If you need to install Homebrew, check out the vids, all the other vids. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Uh, keep on trucking. Keep on mudding in your truck. Because the inside's clean, right? There's some song where the mud and mud on the outside clean on the inside. I heard it. So you know, maybe you should check that out too. I don't know. I like the song that's playing better actually though. Okay, I'll see you later.